What's good, everybody? It's your boy Odell. All right, check it out. For this video right here, this is for my boy Ron Kim, a dude I met out in Seoul, Korea. Uh, he sat there and uh, he helped me out finding uh, a store out there that sold 1-6 scale figures. That's where I got my uh, Indiana Jones at. He wanted to see what I got, so I'm going to show him what I got. Um, so, yeah, he'll be on... Uh, Eventually on YouTube, he's got a massive collection. I mean, when I say massive, massive. Uh, may not be more than Carlos or MRA, but uh, when he showed me, I was like, dude, it's fucking amazing. So um, be on the lookout for him. I don't know what channel uh, name he's going to have yet, but when he does jump on, um, I'll definitely let you all know so you can peep him out. Uh, everybody knows the story about Blondie. How I copped him on eBay for 400 bucks. Um, Rain Man's Blondie. I mean, hell. How lucky can you get? So, uh, no doubt about that. I love that figure. That's that's uh, one of the Holy Grail figures. Uh, Mike Echo. This is Arthur Mitchell. Now, before you say anything, I got two. Uh, I got two bodies in the mail today. This is the Captain America. Uh, body that they used for the first Captain America. I just wanted to see what it would look like uh, with the outfit that I have. I am going to change that body out because Arthur Mitchell is not that uh, muscular. So the head is uh, on its way. If you remember, it just got painted, so I'm still waiting for it to get here in the mail. Uh, everybody knows Dexter. Um, Moe's Productions, Henley. The pants and shoes I got off of eBay. The body is a hit figure. Um, shout out to Unboxing Galore who uh, told me about the hit figure body. Uh, thanks, bro, for that. It's it's cheap and it's just like the uh, TTM 19 uh, body, except it's just much cheaper in price. Uh, then we've got the shootout uh, Terminator. Um, Right now, this bad boy, when I get the uh, Terminator DX10 uh, set up, uh, this will be right next to him. I, I know, Mike, I know you want to, I know we talked about, uh, you asked me if, you know, if I wanted to do a trade and everything. Man, bruh, trust me, if I wasn't too attached to this figure, I would, but just the way that it came out and the way that uh, Commando made those glasses, it's, it's just fucking rocks. I remember when my father came out and he visited and he saw this and it just fucking blew him away. Uh, then back here we got the uh, oh so great um, Andy Whitfield, who uh, in my opinion is the best Spartacus compared to this new guy, but you know, unfortunately he's no longer with us. Uh, the champion armor suit is not the, uh, the one that's out for sale now. This one is Saran Kim's. Um, this is his version of the champion uh, armor. He sculpted all of this. So everything on this is um, is from uh, Kim Saran. Uh, Elvis assembled, Elvis 1976, he assembled the whole entire uniform. He painted everything, the head, every, it's just, he did everything. And it's fucking perfect. I, I love that shit. Uh, we've got the best Hot Toys figure of 2012, uh, Luke Skywalker. I love that pose up there, too, on the weather vane. I love that. I stole that from, uh, I saw it on the 1-6 scale Republic. No I, no, I think I saw it on Sideshow, uh, on Sideshow website. Somebody had that pose, and I was just like, oh, I got to take it. So I love that pose. This one, too. Hands down, the best figure of 2012. Um, I mean, just for the fact that you got you know, two uh, figures finally for a DX set. Then everybody knows about the uh, Iron Man. Now they have the Hall of Armor uh, that you can purchase, all seven of them, which I want to do, but unfortunately I have one Iron Man figure, so we got to work on the other six. So uh, that is a plan for 2013. Then we got the uh, greatest entertainer of all time, Michael Jackson and Beat It seem to, uh, I don't know, this song just keeps popping up nowadays. 
anyway, yes, he had company in here, but uh, they had to depart. Uh, but it's all good. He will have company again. Hopefully, uh, Sarong uh, fulfills my wish and does uh, those two sets of uh, Michael Jackson. So I'm still I'm still pressuring on him to uh, to do it. So he's taking it in consideration. Then we got the '89 bats. I remember seeing this as a kid. Love that shit. And then we have Harrison Ford. Indiana Jones. This was the figure that he actually uh, sat there and helped me out in um, in getting when I was in Seoul. I didn't know it was between him and uh, Sweeney Todd, so I really didn't know what I was gonna sit there and uh, what I was gonna sit there and do. Then over here, uh, we've got. The Vietnam Wolverine, you guys saw this. Remember this one right here? I love putting this guy together. It took me a while, but I love that the way it came out. Of course, then he didn't have the uh, uh, adamantium uh, claws. He had the bone claws. The uh, pouches and everything, I think I'm going to replace with actual, not, you know, take the plastic off and put the fabric uh, pouch up on there. And I'm still thinking of shaving down his head so he can wear the helmet. I don't know yet. Then we've got my other Holy Grail, Rick Grimes, Elvis from uh, Elvis 1976. You guys know the story behind this. Um, they're working on season two, Rick Grimes. Hopefully that comes out soon. Place him right next to uh, uh, the other Rick here, and I'm gonna work on Shane as well. So that's uh, that's the other Holy Grail. And then, of course, we got the famous Jack Nicholson, Joker. Love that pose. And then, of course, the one and only Heath Ledger, um, the bank robber version. The best Joker of all, of course, we all know that. Uh, down here, of course, we got the Punisher. Uh, my boy Ski could not paint the head. He's kind of backed up with heads right now, so... I had him send that back to me, and I'm going to give it to my boy Tyson out in uh, Australia to uh, sit there and paint up for me. So uh, hopefully I'll probably get that out in the mail tomorrow to him. Uh, then, of course, we got the captain. Odin, uh, he'll still remain back there. These two would be moved, and when Thor comes out, he'll be placed right next to Pops. Then down here, of course, the Batman DX. Zero two, um, non oily abs. If anybody is looking for one, trust me, folks are selling these like crazy now so that they can get the new one. I don't know if I'm gonna get the new one, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get the new one yet, but uh, we'll see. Y'all know I'm already Batman out, so uh, yeah, uh, the Bat Pod, of course, is a must. Unfortunately, it's probably going to have to be, I may have to grab two because you got to have one for Batman, but if you plan on getting Catwoman, you, you got to have one with her. So that's the thing that sucks about it. They should have never did that in the movie. Of course, you guys remember my upper deck Michael Jordan figurines from all his greatest moments. There's other two in the back. Uh, Inner Bay, January 26th is the first release of the uh, Michael Jordan, it'll be uh, number 45. Storm Toys is still working on theirs, that's fine. Uh, Inner Bay, man, went January 26th, which will be January 25th in the United States. I will be up and ready to order that bitch. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's the other holy grail. Can't fuck with that. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that's it. Unfortunately, some... Let's see, how many were there? One, two, three, about four other figures had to go, unfortunately. But you know what? Those four can easily be uh, replaced, and that's going to be the plan for 2013. I'm going to look for the dude and hope uh, that Sar uh, Saran Kim does Prince, which he is going to do Prince, but he also does Michael Jackson as well. With that, I will be back with another video on the Trinity Killer. Peace.